Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 7th, 2021. I am smiling this morning because I decided that I wanted to smile, but I will confess to you that I am an emotional mess over what is happening in the United States, like so many others. And I want to try to express a couple of Torah insights. I was very moved by, and I will share with you, the words of the Reverend Barry Black. Reverend Black has been the Senate clergyman for almost 20 years. He is by occupation a nonpartisan voice of conscience in the Senate. And early this morning, as the joint session finally closed with upholding the Electoral College vote that took place in November, Barry Black, the chaplain, gave the closing prayer at the end of a historically tumultuous day. And he said in part, these tragedies have reminded us that words matter and that the power of life and death is in the tongue. We have been warned that eternal vigilance continues to be freedom's price. So, this needs to be said. The terrible and violent riot in Washington yesterday was not spontaneous combustion. It was deliberately evoked and elicited and planned by words. Everyone who contributed to that is complicit, especially those who supported and condoned it while it was happening. They deserve our deepest contempt. There is a quote from outside our tradition, which nevertheless contains deep wisdom. And every one of us should weigh these words very carefully. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his soul? Now, we can disagree about politics and we can disagree about policies. But we all need to get back on track that character matters, that character is an essential and necessary aspect of leadership. And it's not a coincidence, but it was largely overlooked and overshadowed that yesterday in the United States was the single worst, most destructive day from COVID so far. About 4,000 Americans lost their lives due to COVID. A new single day record. At the same time, 
I was heartened when Congress did finally go back to work last night and finished its constitutional duty. And I thought about the last time the Capitol in Washington, D.C. was attacked, which was during the War of 1812. And I thought about the famous poem that was written around that time, the poem titled The Defense of Fort McHenry, written by Francis Scott Key, which later became known as the American Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless Canada. I am so grateful to Canada for all it stands for, for giving us a home. And God bless the United States of America. She really needs your help now. My friends, I wish you a good day, a better tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing all of you soon in person.